We're going to find the exact value of tangent 14 pi over 3 using reference angles. And then we want to draw that angle in standard position, indicate the reference angle. So 14 pi over 3, we talked about this before, if it's more than 360 or more than 2 pi, we have to figure out what the extra revolutions are on this problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first break this up and see how many times 2 pi divides into it. So I'm going to do this whole problem in terms of radians. Now again, as I did in the notes, you could convert it into degrees and then go, go about it that way. But for this video, I'm going to do this all in radians. Okay, so 14 pi over 3, I want to divide that by 2 pi because I want to see how many revolutions go into that. So doing it this way, I get 14 pi over 3 times 1 over 2 pi. The, uh, the pi's are going to cancel and also a 2 will go into the 14, so I would get 7 thirds. Now 7 thirds, I can write that as a mixed fraction, and that would be 2 and 1 third. I only care about the, this part. I know that, uh, that there's two revolutions that go into 14 pi over 3. So uh, what I can do is I'm going to take 14 pi over 3, I'm going to subtract 2 times 2 pi, I'm subtracting two revolutions from it, and I want to find out what the remainder is going to be on that. So 14 pi over 3 minus 4 pi over 1, which can do common denominators on that. 14 minus 12, that's going to give us 2 pi left over. Now, I want to, I want to draw this with, with standard position because that's what originally the question asked for. I need to go around 2 revolutions and then I'm going to go to 2 pi over 3. Now, 2 pi over 3, remember that this is pi over 2 and this is pi, so I know that 2 pi over 3 is going to fall in the second quadrant. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this. First, I'm going to go around once. That indicates one revolution. That would be a 2 pi. Then I'm going to go around one more time over to here. That will represent the 2 pi. Because remember, again, there's two revolutions that I, I found out because I divided by 2 pi and went in two times. So i got to go around twice to get to here. The remaining part I'm going to go around is going to be the 2 pi over 3. So that's going to end up putting us into the second quadrant. It's going to look like that. So this is our 14 pi over 3. Uh, that's, our, that's what that looks like drawn in standard position. So that's that, that angle right there. Now, I want to find the exact value in reference angle. Refer back to the section we talked about with reference angles. We have a three-step process for doing that. The first step is to find the reference angle. We're going to do this all in uh, radians as well. If you're in the second quadrant, the formula for radians is going to be pi minus the, uh, the angle that you have. So it's always pi minus theta. So if my RA, my reference angle, is going to be pi minus 2 pi over 3. So when I subtract that with common denominators, I get that my reference angle is pi over 3, and I'm going to put that right here. That's my reference angle. That answers the first part of that three-step process to get the exact value. Reference angle, pi over 3. Step number two, I want to apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function is this one given in the original problem, the original problem that has a tangent in there. So I need, I need to apply tangent to my reference angle. So I want to find tangent of pi over 3. I can look at the table for that. Pi over 3, uh, that's the same thing uh, as 60 degrees on that. And so because it is, the exact value you get off the table is going to be square root of 3. That's the exact value. Step number 3 is I want to apply the appropriate sign for the quadrant I'm in. Now originally I had a tangent. so tangent in the second quadrant, I'm going to use the all students take calculus sign chart. So I have all, everything's positive here. Students means in this quadrant, sign is positive, but everything else is going to be negative. So therefore, I know that the tangent has to be negative in the second quadrant. So when I write my answer, tangent 14 pi over 3, I need to actually make, I'm going to use the same value as this that I got in step 2, but I have to apply a negative sign to it. So my final answer is going to be negative square root of 3. That would be the exact value for tangent 14 pi over 3. So I'll just put this down on my blank, and that answers the question.